I like this handshake. <laughs> and her family. They are from South Sudan. Due to conflict, they basically fled their homes and they're in the largest settlement in Uganda, which is Bidi Bidi. Oh, you've got beans? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. They're quite resourceful then that they managed to grow their own onions. And they've got their own corn, which they grow. We've seen they're growing their own tomatoes. So they've got a little variety, you know, thinking of ways to get nutrients from other sources. Hiya. Yeah. So this should be enough for 17 people. <laughs> so they're going to fry some onions and tomatoes and then add it to the beans and then have it with the maize meal um, later on, which that's enough for 17 people. Yeah, yeah. this one, we can put all the water. All the water, yeah, yeah okay. I usually add stock cubes to everything to give it a bit more flavor. Um, but this is all we have to work with, salt. No, you add, you add, add to the salt. More? Yeah. Oh, really? No. No? This one cannot, this one even cannot be at least. Like, like that? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a lot of salt. <laughs> In the meal, we've got um, cornmeal, we've got beans, which was pre-cooked um, a day or two ago. Then they added some fried tomatoes, salt, oil, and onions, and some water. Who's going first? Mama with baby? They do this every single day, so it's nothing new. So the kids are not always like, oh, what are we having today? And they don't have that, that excitement because they, they know what's coming. It's pretty much the same thing that goes into the same meal every single day. There's a lot of malnutrition here because as much as these foods give the basic sort of nutrients, you know, they're missing out on things like calcium, vitamin C, you know, all the good vitamins that I guess somehow we take for granted. I've, I don't think I've seen a single fruit here, like orange or banana. Things like eggs, milk, you know, butter, things that I use on a daily basis to bake and things that define me um, are not actually here. And they're, they're luxury to these people. They probably don't remember the last time they had an egg. Egg is a luxury, meat is a luxury, which unfortunately they cannot afford to buy. It's very challenging having to work with just about five ingredients and an extra which they grow themselves. But just imagine Rose and her family and all the other refugees in this area eating the same thing over and over again. This is not just an issue in the refugee settlements. There's a wider issue across Uganda to do with malnutrition, which World Vision are helping through their Share a Meal campaign. So if you want to find more, go to their website, get involved and donate. <laughs>